Hi everyone, meteorologist Taylor Canoost with your forecast. It was a very nice Tuesday. Got to the 50s in Des Moines for the first time in over a month, and it's going to stay very warm overnight tonight for this time of the year. 43, the forecast low temperature in Des Moines tonight. Keep in mind our average high for today is 36, so we're going to stay rather warm across pretty much all of central Iowa overnight, but things will change as we head into Wednesday. Starting off feeling great, but a cold front will move through the area and knock down our temperatures to the 30s probably by lunchtime or shortly thereafter, and plus it will be windy, so it's going to feel even colder than that. Colder air returning to the state on Wednesday afternoon through the day on Thursday. Our wind chills, of course, will be lower, feeling like the 20s by the late afternoon down to the teens on Wednesday evening, and then it could feel like below zero by the time we wake up on Thursday morning. So as good as it feels today, the cold weather will be back here in a matter of about uh, 36 hours or so. So uh, get prepared with the uh, heavy coats and the uh, winter gear in a couple of days from now. So that cold front's going to move through, could produce some showers of the rain variety initially, but as we head into Wednesday night and Thursday, there is still potential for some wintry weather, mainly in southeast Iowa on Thursday morning and early Thursday afternoon. The National Weather Service has issued winter storm watches from Kansas through northern Missouri, far southeast Iowa, and northern parts of Illinois. So those are the areas most likely to see the heaviest of the snowfall, but we certainly could see a little bit in uh, our neck of the woods as well. Let's roll through future casts for the next couple of days. Dry tonight, dry during the morning rush hour, but near or after 9 o'clock is when we should begin to see the rain showers pop up. It's going to be a close call if we see that in Des Moines or not, but the best chance will be to the south and east of Des Moines late on uh, Wednesday morning into Wednesday afternoon. By Wednesday evening, we'll start to see a transition to some wintry Precip. It may be a mix initially with some freezing rain or freezing drizzle possible, mainly in southeast Iowa late on Wednesday evening might even dry out a little bit on Wednesday night, but then here comes our chance for snowfall late on Wednesday night into Thursday morning, primarily south and east of Des Moines is where that is most likely could linger through the mid afternoon in southeast Iowa and then clears out by the time we reach Thursday evening. Here is our snowfall forecast for central Iowa. Des Moines likely to stay snow free. If you're north of I 80, you're likely going to be snow free as well, but down south two to five inches possible in Centerville, anywhere from one to four inches in Ottumwa. Could just be a trace in Oskaloosa and Sheraton, but we'll see up to two inches is a possibility. And again, you get north and west of there. It's probably going to stay snow free for the most part and certainly will not be a big deal for the Des Moines Metro. There is a slim chance we get a little freezing drizzle or freezing rain in Des Moines late on Wednesday afternoon, not completely ruling that out. So something to keep an eye on tomorrow. Better chances, though, the farther south and east you go. So southeast Iowa is the area to watch for some dangerous travel conditions. You're talking about icy road potential on Wednesday night and then the potential for some heavier snow in spots spots on Thursday morning lingering into Thursday afternoon. Plus, it's going to be pretty windy during this entire event, even in central Iowa. But with that wind blowing around the snow, visibility could be reduced in southeast Iowa. So all in all, not the place to be, uh, uh, especially on Thursday morning and Thursday afternoon. Everyone's going to cool down on Thursday with highs in the teens to the low 20s. We rebound pretty quickly, though, with highs in the 40s on Friday and Saturday and maybe even up to 55 by Sunday.